Gemini, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading, my darlings. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts. Pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Gemini, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy and remember roles can always be reversed. Gemini, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and I thank you again. All right, my darlings, let's talk about your energy. OMG, is it me or are you super duper tired? Because I tried twice today and I laid down twice. I had to force myself to sit here and do this message. And it seems like it's only when I'm stepping into your energy because when I lay down, like I said, I laid down twice. When I get back up, I'm fine until I step back into your energy and then I lay back down again. <laughs> I am serious, Gemini. God darn. Um, I thought it was me. I, I, it, it like until the third time I said, "Wait a minute, this is Gemini." This, <laughs> I had no idea that that's what I was stepping into. I was just thinking I was getting tired. But oh my God, Gemini, you are exhausted. Oh, mentally, physically. Um, just exhausted, 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 exhausted. Seriously, we we have to, uh, we need some uh, restoration here. We, we got to get something pouring into you because you're depleted, you know, absolutely depleted. I'm tired and I'm not tired. That's the thing. Let's see. We're pulling from the animal spirit oracle. I have okay <laughs> so the lizard is coming through the lizard is a dreamer okay dream the world into being basically uh foresee you know see your higher self see where you want to be what is your game plan what's your vision board you know where do you want to be in such and such years five years ten years whatever but we have to envision the plan so that we can activate it. And it's coming in sideways because I think you're kind of halfway in and halfway out with this concept right now. Number one, you're tired, period. Let's just, we, that, that's important. You know, I know I keep saying it, but my eyes are watering. I'm so sorry, Gemini, I swear I'm not this tired. I swear I'm not this tired. When I finish this reading, I'm gonna be fine, but you're tired your eyes are watering you're yawning um so when it comes to you know five years from now no i'm trying to worry about what's what's gonna happen at the end of the week or tomorrow or in the next five minutes because i'm about five minutes from you know what i'm saying <laughs> um so yeah it's coming in sideways but gemini you know you are still always and always will be a very uh mental energy so you still are thinking of things every now and again as far as your future is concerned, even if you don't want to admit it. So I'm okay with that. The spider's coming in to make the dreams real. It literally says that. Look, dream the world into being, make the dream real. It can't get no, I mean, bada bing, bada boom, you know? But because you're halfway in and out with this, you're going to delay this. I'm not going to lie. We're going to have to get this upright. You're going to have to really get into the focus of what, how you see yourself in order for you to ha get the game plan together to get to work to make it reality. All right. Um, the giraffe is coming behind you to allow you to see the big picture. You can see the finished product project before you even start, which is awesome. Okay. But we got to get you back up right here hold on let me um yeah we use author today oh. 
All right, it's starting to feel a little better now. What you do? Drink some water or something? You shook it off for me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Somebody pulled back their energy a little bit. Thank you, honey, because that was heavy. I ain't gonna lie. I thought I was gonna sleep right here with the damn cards. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go. Let me have the core for Gemini's energy. What's at the center? The page. Every little step is gonna make so much difference, but you gotta take the step. The page is a small token, a small gift, a small gesture, you know, a, a, a small act, whatever it is. But it's going to affect or work towards the bigger picture, three of wands at the bottom of the deck, you know? So it's kind of like an energy of, I guess, investment, you know, starting small, expecting a return, right? But in order for this to kind of play out, we got to get you upright, you know? Because I would like to see more than a page in the middle, but I take what I can get, sleepy as you are, baby, I understand. Crown this energy, please. Crowning, I have the Hermit and the Nine of Cups coming in sideways. So, Gemini, you're really not, uh, you, uh, let me just say this. You're just not impressed right now with nothing, okay? Um, we've all been there, you know. It's, I think, who had that? Um, I think it was Cancer, if I'm not mistaken, Cancer. Um, you ever get in those modes, you know, where like you're hungry, but you want nothing to eat. I don't want nothing. I don't want to order. I don't want nothing in the house. I just don't want nothing. You know, we all get to like that funk that it's a funk. That's what it is. It really is a funk. Um, you know, you're hungry, you know, you got to eat, but you're just unimpressed. Nothing. There's no passion in this energy. There's no sparks, you know? So what's crowning you is the hermit with the nine of cups. This is Virgo's energy, the hermit. And the hermit uh, has wisdom by way of the application of knowledge. The nine of cups, independent, uh, personal, emotional fulfillment. So what's crowning you is like, you know what you want, so do it. But it's coming in sideways because it's like, you're not impressed by the dream or the relationship or the job or the whatever. It's like, oh, it's you like it, but you really don't. You know, it's weird because I don't feel like you giving up or anything. I just feel like you in a little funk right now. You know, that dream job, it, it, it ain't no dream job no more. Right now, it's just a job to pay the bills. And in a minute, it might not even be that. Like, that's what type of time you on, you know. Let's see what's working against you. What's working against, thank you. I have the Three of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Something is stuck in your head, and it might be love. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Maybe you had an expectation that somebody was gonna come back and say, hey, Gemini, I'm sorry, I was wrong, and they never showed up, and Gemini, that is like, is bothering you. You know, it's bothering you. You might be even thinking like, should I do something? Should I say something? But at the same time, the future is kind of nagging at you. Come this way, you know, come this way. But you're still trying to, it seems like, even if this isn't someone, as far as love is concerned, it's something that you felt passionate about at one time, okay? And it's stuck in your head because you expect it for things to work out, but it didn't work out the way you planned. So now you're like, how do I, I, where do I stand with this? I don't even know how I feel about this because what I was doing, you know, if, if this was the job or the relationship, you know, that your future included this, whatever this is to you. But now that this has been removed, there's a change in plan. And what I'm seeing here energetically is that God is saying the plan didn't change. The people did, but the plan didn't. 
you know? And the same thing with the game. The game don't change. The players do, but the game don't. And that's what this is. You know what I'm saying? Where are we coming from? Thank you. The lovers. Exactly. Yeah, for some of you, this is a relationship issue. That's your energy. Others of you, it's you really have been struggling with maybe a decision you made. Um, a life path decision. Let's say it like that. Okay? Wondering if you did the right thing. Am I doing the right thing? This is not how I thought it was going to be. But the Six of Wands is here. You've been nothing but successful. And it's been noticed. But for some reason, I don't feel like you feel it. It's almost as if... It's almost as if your victory is reminding you of who should be there to cheer you on. It's kind of like, you know, how can I say this? You're graduating. You know, there's a lot of graduations around this time of year. And your co-workers came to your graduation, but your family did. You know, so it hurts. It feel good. But it hurt. You appreciate your coworkers, but your family should have been there. You know what I'm saying? That's how this feels. It's it's weird. It's not it's not bad. It's just that something I feel like something that you expected of someone or a group of people or something specific, it's it's not the way you thought it was gonna be, or they didn't act the way you expected them to. And it's just changing, it's changing you. I ain't gonna lie. Where are we going with this for Gemini? Future energy, please. The Three of Pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work. Baby, baby. And here's the moon. You know, Gemini, a Three of Pentacles energy uh, is an energy of collaboration. Okay? So if you need in insight, input, um, a professional opinion, even legal advice... That would be, that would fall into this energy. Maybe that will help nudge you along a little bit on what's next for you, you know? If it's an issue of emotional um, processing, then maybe therapy would work because the moon is going to require um, for this to be addressed. That's the thing about moon energy. You know, it hides things for us. It really does. And we appreciate that while we're in the middle of the storm because we say things like, I'll deal with that later. I don't want to hear about that now. I don't even want to talk about that. I don't even want to see you. All that energy that we're not confronting in the heat of the moment, it goes behind the moon. And the moon um, hides it for us and we ha we'll deal with it when the moon, when the moon says it's full or uh, when it's time to start a new uh, chapter, be, the moon has to purge because it has to prepare for the new chapter. You understand? It also represents because of the things that it hides, you have to understand that everything that's in there usually is based off of fear. Things you deal with later, you know, out of frustration, nine times out of 10, there's fear in there with it. Not to say that you're scared of having an argument, but maybe you're scared of what they'll say. You're scared of what you'll say. You're scared of how far it can go, you know, things like that. So that's why the moon is actually known to hide fear, the dark night of the moon, you know what I mean? Uh, Piscean Scorpion energy. So if you need assistance to deal with this, get it. Because this is going to, how you handle the moon is going to determine how your flow of energy um, is getting ready to start turning. The Wheel of Fortune, it turns by way of an energetic pull. You know, like the price is right, you jump up and you pull the thing down, right? But this wheel, it pull it pulls by your energy. So if you're operating high vibration, high frequency, um, high expectations positively, then it turns to abundance. You understand? But if it, you're not there yet, or you feel, you know, what was me? I don't understand. You know, f that. That's those are things are a lower frequency, a lower vibration. 
and it'll turn to karma now uh or a karmic lesson you know uh, it'll give you a lesson to understand whatever it is that you're having str struggles with processing because whatever this is okay in your life it's something that you need to know how to handle because you're going to need the skill later on that's why you're getting the wheel to get past it it's not a trick thing this wheel is is you, you, you know, how can I say that? Um, help me with my words. Help me with, there's no favor in the wheel. It strictly turns by frequency. You know what I'm saying? It's not nothing you can do, nothing you can say. It's a vibration, all right? So remember that because look at the, see? See? That's what's waiting for you, the boomstick. But you gotta turn the wheel. Turn the wheel to abundance, okay? You got the boom stick coming through, boom, boom stick. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome, okay? This I do play with. Please don't play with this energy, all right? It's forward moving, it's focused, it's passionate. Thank you, because I just said there's no friggin' passion here. But look what divinely you're given the boom stick, which is the ultimate passion. And that's what this is what you need, something to make you feel like that Captain Caveman Unga Bunga energy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> taking on the entire world look at you you're closing out a chapter you're taking on the world you're definitely taking a trip i want to go good lord oh shucks taking a trip moving i'm taking a couple trips huh okay um but you're you you start to get the momentum back okay you start you're getting your flow but every time you stop here comes this Every time you stop, here comes this. Here comes this pain, this hurt, this betrayal. And then once again, you're tossing back and forth. Should I go back? Should I go forward? Should I reach out? Should I not? Should I do something or should I not? Or, you know, you have to get out of that. It's toxic and it's not healthy. All right. Um, I know it's isolating. I know it feels like you're separated. I know, you know, even uh, this may have affected your finances in some way, but you have uh, assistance here from your angels, your ancestors, those on the other side that are assisting you in your journey, giving you support, giving you first emotional support, okay, and balance because of you have an inner conflict that seems to be giving you a run for your money right now. Okay, to a point that it's now it makes sense to me how tired I was coming into your energy. It's because you're fighting, you know, and that's a different kind of tired. You're fighting internally, but you already know how to deal with conflict. You take your sword out, baby, you, with the truth. This sword of truth will straighten all that mess out. That means you have to be honest about the situation, honest about the people, honest about the job, and honest with your mother loving self about what it really is, because it can only be what it is, you know? Handle it from the throne. Remember, the queen handles things from the throne. Even if she's faced with an untruth, she deals with it from the throne, okay? So that truth will give you the clarity, but the choice is still yours and that's what you struggle with it's like every time you're faced with this choice because you feel like you made a choice and it didn't work out you say oh i gotta slow down i ain't doing nothing because you know i never know you know what i mean and you know what if that works for you fine but you're not going to be able to stay slow it, it, you don't even move like that you know after a while, that's going to dry you cuckoo, okay? So justice comes in to kind of recalibrate you a little bit, get your balance back, uh, get you back to, you know, who you are by way of integrity. Also, some karma here being distributed on your behalf. Justice um, serves very well, all right? But this is an, uh, a very balanced energy, a, a righteous energy, okay? Integrity energy. And as long as you're operated in that form and fashion, you know that you can embody that empress and tame whatever beast is trying to tear you down, okay? Be it your past, be it your job, or you. Anxiety, depression, overthinking, you know, whatever that beast represents to you. You want to tame this beast, you got to embody this empress, okay? That way, you get your passion back, you get your confidence back, queen of wands coming through, okay? 
come on, get that focus back. Intuitive abilities coming through. You're getting it back. But then when you're looking around, it's like, but I'm really not impressed with what I'm seeing. And that's the part that's driving me crazy. Well, what's going to impress you? What would be firm? Uh, what would be solid to you? What would be um, dependable to you? You know, what is the gift that keeps on giving? You know, things like that. Gemini, you have to also like how can i say that um play a part in your story even if you messed it up before i don't care if you mess it up 40 times you know it ain't over so if you know what you want you can go after it the problem is that i think is a struggle for you you can see the end result but then the end result changes then you think of something else and then you're like, ah, I don't want that. Ah, I don't really want to do that. Ah, I'm not going back to school for that. Whatever it is, I mean, you know, I can, I'm, I'm a ride with you till the wheels fall off. But at the same time, nobody knows your, your idea or definition um, of abundance better than you in the most high. You know what I mean? I mean, it's food for thought. So if it's truly love that you're trying to connect with or somebody that's ready to grind like you ready to grind, because these two here, ooh, baby, yeah. These are heavy hitters when in the work world, you know, these they this is a power couple, okay? Um, if this is what you saying, this is what you want to make you happy, you have to first become one or the other, you know? You have to do that. And you have to stay in that energy. You have to hold on to it. Okay? Then you'll start to see how, first of all, the abundance keeps giving. Are, are you noticed? I'm, I mean, I really went from the king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the four of pentacles, the sun. Okay? Now the ten of pentacles. You know, thank you for the donation in advance, Gemini. Hello? <laughs> So, I mean, it's not a coin issue, guys. It's a connection issue with you right now. And if you want to make that connection, there's some work that needs to be done here, my love. All right? All right, I hope this helps. Now, if in the event you say, listen, Green Eyes, this is not my story, um, I'm okay with that. Please check your moon or rising. Don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free and it does support the channel. If you're interested in a personal appointment, I offer personal appointments via email request only. Do not believe this WhatsApp scam that's been on my videos lately. Uh, somebody's been commenting um, under other people's comment, telling them to call a WhatsApp for some kind of organization or whatever. That's not me. And I'm working on getting that taken care of. All right. But the world be worlding, guys. And we are all perfectly imperfect. So I'll talk to you next time. Bye.